Welcome back to the Force 9's YouTube channel and welcome to day 15 of the Panini Pack opening series where I'm opening World Cup stickers and I'm picking one player from two packs to join a squad on Football Manager 2018. And uh, we're at the halfway point of the series, day 15 of 30 in April. I'm uploading this every day of the month of April. And I'm halfway through and I'm doing well. There's been some videos that have been a bit late. I tried to put them out for about a quarter past eight. I was doing it for 2018, but they've just... YouTube have decided they actually want to allow you to upload videos at quarter past the hour now, which I don't, I don't know why, because there's more important things to worry about than having your videos uploaded at quarter past the hour or quarter to the hour. I feel like YouTube's got a lot more problems than that. But uh, yeah, um, I want to try and get them out at quarter past eight every day, but uh, that's not always going to be possible because of work and stuff, stuff like that. But I have managed to get it out every day so far, so I'm happy. Uh, yesterday we added uh, Yedon Shakiri to our squad and uh, he can play on the right or the left of midfield. Um, our squad's looking very, very good. I feel like I should have set some sort of budget for this because otherwise our team is going to be ridiculously good. But um, we're not always going to get amazing players in these packs of stickers. So uh, uh, there is no budget as such. There's an unlimited budget. So, uh, you know, we could have picked Kane last time, but seeing as we already had Aguero, I decided against it. But today I've got two more packs to open and uh, we're going to see who we get. These have come from uh, random in the box of 100 which is uh, going down now. I think it's at 94 because of this or 92 maybe. So uh, these have been picked from random and we're going to see who we get today. Uh, let yesterday I picked one from either end. and We got three duplicates. Goretzka, the Columbia badge and the Sochi host city. So hopefully today we'll have a few less duplicates. Pack one. Let's open it. Along the top we go. And down here, and player number one is from Japan, and it's Hiroshi Kiyotake from Cerezo Osaka. Uh, we might already have him. Uh, we actually do not have him, so uh, there you go. Uh, he's a midfielder from Japan. Uh, player number two of the pack is Robbie Cruz, plays for Australia, and also plays for uh, a German team, Bochum. Robbie Cruz, number two, plays for Bochum in Germany and Australia. Number three is uh, Papa Alun Ndiaye, uh, who is uh, the Senegalese player who plays for Stoke, Papa Ndiaye. Uh, from Russia and from Lokomotiv Mostago, Alexei Murlanchuk is there. And then the fifth and final player from pack one is uh, an Egyptian playing for Al Tarun in Saudi Arabia, Esam El Hadari is uh, the fifth and final player in the first pack. There we go, he's focused now. So that's pack one. Um, and DA is a fairly new signing for Stoke. He's the only one there that I recognise. So at the moment, it's going to be him. I think he's a wide player, but I'm not quite sure. Um, see, now we have a player in every position, pretty much, apart from maybe defensive and field. It's just about trying to upgrade what we got or getting decent backup options. So uh, at the moment, it's in DA, but we've got one more pack to open today. Let's open it and let's see who is going to be in this one. I've opened it from the bottom this time. So we'll see if that makes a change at all. And uh, player number one is a Costa Rican. Third day in a row that we've had a Costa Rican. It took us a while to get one. Now we're getting loads. It's Michael Emania from Club Sport Cartagena. There is Emania. We are still waiting for our first Brazilian. Uh, and oh, what do you know? It's another Costa Rican. Two in a row. Johan Venegas plays for uh, Deportivo Saprissa. There's Venegas. Saprissa is a Costa Rican side. Uh, we have ourselves uh, a left back. It's uh, Alexander Kolarov from Serbia and Roma. Former Manchester City fullback Kolarov, who was in the Champions League semi finals. Man City are not. Sorry, City fans. Uh, from Japan and from Kong. Yuya Osako is green. Uh, does green mean goalkeeper? No, green is an attacker and we don't have him. Uh, I believe we do have this guy though. Eric Dyer, English. Uh, I believe he was one of the players that came in the book. Because you get six players inside the book and I think he was one of them. Uh, he is a duplicate anyway, so we do have him. So I think he's our only dupe. And... Uh, He's, do you know what? He's a player that we kind of need because he is like a defensive midfielder, isn't he? It's him, Kolarov, who is Serbian, or um, NDA because the other guys I don't really know. Unless they're really good, I'll pick one of them. But um, 
Let's have those three at the moment, but we'll see who else we could potentially choose. Okay, so first of all, let's start off with the Japanese players. So Yuya Osako is in the game. He's a striker, plays for Köln in Germany. Uh, he's a defensive forward, though. I don't really use defensive forwards. I never have, really. Don't see a use for them. Um, he's got good first touch at 16. Mentally, he's pretty decent. He's aggressive. He's got a good work rate. He's got good stamina. So he's not bad. I just don't like using defensive forwards. Uh, because Hiroshi Kiyotaki plays in Japan, he's not in the game, unfortunately. So we can't pick him. Uh, Michael Lemania is one of the Costa Ricans we got. Uh, plays for Cartagines, who are a team in Costa Rica. He's a 34-year-old centre-back. Uh, he's got 13 heading, 13 marking, 14 tackling. Mentals aren't great, decent work rate, and that's about it. And physically, he's not brilliant either, so he's out of the equation. The other Costa Rican we got was Johan Venegas, so we'll have a look at him. He's a central attacking midfielder. He's also okay as a striker, but again, those attributes aren't good. There's one 14 and nothing else is over 12 apart from, well, 13 stamina. So Venegas isn't very good. Um, Aranchuk is also a central attacking midfielder. A bit better. 16 first touch, 14 passing and technique. Uh, vision's not bad. Good decision making. He's not too bad. 21 years old as well. He's been capped 10 times to two goals. So he looks like a decent player for the future for Russia. For our team, we're not going to go with it, but he looks pretty good. Esam El Hadari is the Egyptian goalkeeper. He's 44 years old. That really? 44? Plays for Al Tawun in Saudi Arabia. There's no way. He doesn't look 44 in that photo. In his sticker, granted, yeah, he looks a bit older. But 44 years old, really? He's very brave, apparently, 19. I guess you have to be brave to play football still so at 44. Wow. Uh, Robbie Cruz is a right wing. We've already got two of them, so we're not going to be picking this guy, but his work rate's okay. Not a bad dribbler. Got a bit of pace about him. 28 years old, plays in Germany. He's okay, but our white right midfield's already getting a bit stacked, so we're not going to pick Cruz. Now, it's a bit difficult to find Ndiaye, because in the game, his name's Badu Ndiaye. The sticker says Papa Alun Ndiaye. So, uh, this is the same one, though, because his date of birth's the same. He's a central midfielder. He can be a Mizala or a box-to-box -box midfielder. So he's very similar to Henderson in that respect. So I don't feel like he'd be very good for us. Although he's actually, physically, he's very good. Natural fitness and stamina is 18. 16 acceleration, 15 pace. Bravery, teamwork and work rate are very good. Technically, he's just a little bit lacking. But got some decent attributes as in DA. A bit of a pain to find on the game. There's his full name, Papa Alun in DA. But Badu is obviously some sort of nickname. Uh, Kolarov left back is 31, plays for Serbia and AS Roma, as I mentioned, former Manchester City player. Um, 17 crossings, good. Uh, 16 corners, he's good at corners. He's a bit average elsewhere, like 12s and 13s, but he's really not bad and he's very experienced. 68 caps for Serbia. Kolarov would be decent. At the moment, we have Ricardo Rodriguez as a left back. Kolarov could be a decent backup. Eric Dyer. Uh, is a ball winning midfielder so he is like the perfect midfielder that we actually need the downside would be that he's our second english player which means that we cannot pick any more english players so if we were to pack say oxlade chamberlain or maybe another harry kane or i don't know another midfielder um we wouldn't be able to use him so this would be our second and final english player should it be eric dyer i mean who who's our other english guys henderson isn't it of course it is Henderson and Dyer as our English players. Um, now you see, I, I, I'd like to try and get someone like Rashford, but I will say I don't know if we'll pick, if we'll pack him or not. That's, there's a big chance of that not happening, so it would be a risk to pick this guy. Uh, I don't, we're not going to pick him DA because we already have a, a player similar to him. So it's between Dyer and Kolarov. In terms of other England players, I'd want for my team. Um, I don't really want an England defender. Uh, I don't really fancy any of them. Uh, Oxlade Chamberlain would be nice to have, as would Rashford. Uh, or maybe Deli Ali, or maybe Sterling. There's a few good players, but as I say, the chance of getting them is very low. Uh, and then Kolarov. Who else could they get from Serbia? Okay, so in terms of Serbians, uh, Matic would be a very similar player to Dyer. Uh, Dusan Tadic, uh, Milinkovic Savic, we've already packed. Uh, Nastasic at centre-back, uh, Branislav Ivanovic, I wouldn't really like him, uh, Mitrovic up top, 
Okay, so I'm going to decide against picking the Englishman Eric Dyer. Player number 15 is going to be Alexander Kolarov. So there we go. So he may well be our oldest player in the squad at 31. I'm not sure if we have anyone older than that. I think the only one we have is older. There's Pepe at centre-back who's 34. So Kolarov is one of the older uh, defenders in our team. Um, might be a bit of a risk going for, you know, slightly older defenders. But Kolarov, I trust. I think he's decent. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for today, number 15. We are halfway through the series now. 15 players picked, 15 left to pick. And, uh, well, the squad's it's coming along very nicely, so I'm very happy. And uh, hopefully the remaining 15 days, we'll be getting some better players, trying to upgrade what we got, and, you know, trying to get a really, really good team out. We'll try. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. And I will see you tomorrow for day 16, where we're going to do the second half of the month, and we're going to see who else we can pack and who else could potentially be joining our squad. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.